Okay, uh, now we need to add an event handler to our form. Opening the form and if you open properties palettes for any visual elements you will see down there the list of all events this visual element allows you to handle. Every element has its own list including the form as a whole. And here you can see the on open event we were uh, looking for. To implement the handler we need to press this button and as it was explained before we have to choose this no context option. Now the platform switched us to the forms module and there are two procedures here. One at client and one at server no context. As it was said in the lesson, there is no access to data from uh, the client code. So all we can do here is running a server procedure. And uh, in this no context case, there is no access to form attributes from the server code. So all we can do here is read the data and pass uh, the result back to client. There is more than one way to do so. The easiest way is to pass our form attribute as a parameter from here and then assign the value to it here. Okay, the first question is what do we need to pass? The only thing we really need to know is that when we are in a form module we always can use this form object. To call the object's method or to address its property we always use a dot symbol. And when we do so the list of all methods and properties available is open. Scrolling this list down you can see uh, the object property right here. Uh, this is our goods receipt document, so we select on it and then we press dot one more time and we can see all documents attributes, including warehouse we need it. Now we need to declare this parameter in our server procedure header. We can do it like this. And uh, the last thing left to do is to assign our main warehouse to this parameter. Again, there is more than one way to do so. Let's just use uh, the simplest one. Uh, we want to read a reference value from warehouse's catalog. So let's start typing catalogs and now we can see warehouses and now we can see all methods available for this catalog. And here is what we might use find by description. Let's choose it. And the platform shows us the parameters of this method. And uh, the first one is a description, so we can just pass main here. And that's it. Let's see if it works. Goods receipt, create new. And here we go. Main warehouse is chosen by default.